Good afternoon. It's uh, Wednesday, April 22nd, and this is an update of some of the things that are going on uh, mainly at the parish, but also at the Archdiocese. Just to remind you that the church is open at St. Matthew if you would like to come over for private prayer. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, the church is open from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The church is also open on Saturdays from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m., and on Sundays from 10.30 until 11.30 uh, a.m., so if you would like to come by for prayer, we've got uh, sanitizer. We've, the church is, is pretty much empty. There's lots of room. Uh, you are welcome to come. Along those lines, some parishioners have done a great service for the community and for us at St. Matt's in that they have, they've made some masks uh, that people can wear pretty much anywhere. But you'd also, if you would like, uh, when you come over to pray at the church uh, to put on one of these masks, you'd be able to do that. There is a box of these masks in uh, the south wing outside Carol Dawn's office. And you're welcome either to come if you're, if you're coming for prayer to take one. Uh, if you'd like to arrange another way to come in and get one, you are welcome to do that. You don't have to go in and pray. If you pick one up, you can just come over and get one. But uh, it's been very nice of them to make many, many hundreds of, of masks, but to give some to us at St. Matthew. So if you would like one, uh, come by and get one or let one of us know and we can get one to you. Also to let you know that we have a, a new information from the Archdiocese in Milwaukee uh, indicating that they're going to, the Sunday Mass uh, at 11 o'clock at the cathedral will be on Channel 6. Uh, it appears that until we all go back to Mass and business as usual, Mass from the cathedral will be, will be shown live 11 a.m. on Sundays. Again, that is from the cathedral. Also, just to, to bring you up to speed in case you, you missed this, and this is just occurring to me, so I'm going off the top of my head. Uh, right before Easter Sunday, Archbishop Lestecki okayed um, the idea of having parking lot masses, but on the Monday after Easter, he rescinded that permission. So just to let you know, we don't have to get into the, the, all the details of it, um, but he, he reevaluated it in light of the actual experience and some feedback from priests. So if you wonder what happened with parking lot masses, uh, the bishop um, is no longer per permitting us to do them. Also, I want to let you know, in case you can start planning uh, for when we get back to business as usual, that St. Matthew will be having a blood drive on Wednesday, May 20th, from 1230 until 7 p.m. Now, this is going to be a blood drive that's a little bit different. Uh, tragically, we will not be able to have uh, all the food and the you know, the, the good times together as a big group at that date. I mean, if, I prove, if I'm proven wrong on this, that will be a wonderful thing, but the expectation is there are still gonna be some limitations on groups, so we won't be able to have as much socializing as we usually have. But the blood center is under certain uh, regulations that have to do with uh, medical institutions, so there's a certain freedom to do things because giving blood is a very uh, helpful thing for the medical community and for everybody. So I am going to put these details uh, soon on the parish website so that you can go and click on them. But just to give you a basic idea of what this is going to be, uh, there are going to be four or five beds up in the gathering space and four or five beds down in the saints' rooms. So there'll actually be two different locations with fewer beds in each. And then people will be able to actually register for one or the other of those places and come in by different entrances. Um, Everything that could possibly be done to make this uh, safe and healthy will be done, and the Blood Center is very good at that. So more details will be forthcoming on that, but you can mark your calendar in case you've been thinking, for example, that, well, I'd really like to give blood because I know they need it, but I'd like to give it at St. Matt's if we're going to have it, but if we're not, then I'll go to the Blood Center. Do what you need to do or what you feel called to do, but just so you know, uh, the plan today is to have a blood drive on Wednesday, May 20th. Uh, I do want to thank everybody uh, for their donations to the parish during this time away. Uh, stewardship has been um, a, a pleasant surprise to me. You know, we, we need the resources we have because we're still pretty much going uh, full bore. Virtually everybody's working in some way, in some place, either here or at home. So there's a lot that's getting done, and as you know, the bills keep coming in. I also know that this is a very difficult time financially for many people, so this is as always, stewardship and my message about giving and the importance of giving uh, is always done with the, the insight that when people are in difficult straits, I don't expect them or want them to give anything to the parish. 
Um, it's just that people are in a, in a position to give and people are giving and for that I am very grateful. Also, uh, and finally, please let me know or someone at the parish know if you are in need of something at this time. Again, we all seem to be locked down. We're doing things that are very unusual, but we also know it's a very stressful time and that people's financial situations have radically changed uh, very quickly. So if there's some way that we can help, uh, I would appreciate if you could let me know. Uh, if you have some ideas of people we might help, again, we can discreetly handle things like that. Um, but just want you to let you know that the parish is here. Uh, you are here for the parish. The parish is here for you. Uh, we will address all the needs that we can. So thank you very much, and I hope to see all of you soon.